We live in a world overflowing with connection. Yet, have you ever felt more alone? We curate our lives into highlight reels, constantly bombarded by perfection. But is this relentless pursuit of online validation eroding the very essence of our existence? Join us as we embark on a journey to explore the dark side of connection. Is social media a blessing or a curse? Can we reclaim meaning in the digital age? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. The rise of social media. Remember those pixelated profile pictures on my space? The endless quizzes on Facebook. Back then, social media felt like a virtual playground, a messy, unfiltered space for exploration and connection. The early days were exhilarating. We connected with long-lost friends, discovered communities we never knew existed, and shared our experiences with a global audience. For the first time, it felt revolutionary. Borders dissolved, distances shrunk, and the world became a smaller, more connected place. But the initial excitement wasn't just about connection. There was a sense of empowerment. We were the storytellers. We could document our lives, share our passions, and even launch careers from the comfort of our bedrooms. It was democratization of information at its finest. However, the seeds of something more sinister were also being sown. As platforms matured, algorithms emerged, silently shaping what we saw and how we interacted. The pressure to garner likes and followers grew. The raw, unfiltered moments of our lives became less valuable than perfectly staged photos and carefully crafted captions. The focus shifted from genuine connection to performance. Our lives transformed from shared experiences into meticulously curated highlight reels. We became obsessed with projecting an image of flawlessness, a pressure that began to chip away at our sense of self-worth and erode the very essence of why we connected in the first place. Existentialism in the digital age, long before the age of likes and followers, philosophers grappled with fundamental questions about human existence. Existentialism, a philosophical school of thought, emerged as a powerful current, placing the individual squarely at the center of their own meaning, making these thinkers argued that life has no inherent meaning, pre-packaged and delivered with a bow. It's up to each of us, in the face of an indifferent universe, to create our own purpose, to forge our path in a world devoid of inherent structure. It's a daunting responsibility, but also a liberating one. We are free, they argued, to define ourselves through our choices, our actions, and the way we navigate the complexities of existence. But how does this existential struggle translate to the digital age? A world overflowing with curated perfection and carefully crafted narratives. Here, the pressure to conform to predefined notions of success and happiness, as displayed on our carefully curated feeds, can be overwhelming. We're bombarded with images of seemingly perfect vacations, flawless relationships and dream careers, leading us to question our own choices and accomplishments. The constant comparison game fueled by social media can leave us feeling lost and unfulfilled. The question of meaning transcends the number of likes we get or the envy we evoke. Existentialism reminds us that true fulfillment lies in authenticity in forging a path that resonates with our own values and aspirations. The digital world, for all its potential for connection, can easily become a breeding ground for alienation and existential angst. The quest for authenticity and true purpose becomes even more crucial in a world obsessed with appearances. In the digital age, existentialism offers a powerful antidote 
a call to step back from the curated feeds, silence the external noise, and embark on the courageous journey of creating meaning in a world that offers none. The erosion of meaning. We've established the dramatic shift from genuine connection to performance in social media. But how exactly does this relentless pursuit of online validation erode the very meaning we seek? Meaning, in its truest sense, arises from authentic experiences. It's the warmth of a shared laugh with a friend, the satisfaction of completing a challenging task, or the thrill of learning something new. It's about fostering genuine connections, feeling a sense of belonging, and contributing to something larger than ourselves. Social media, however, often replaces these experiences with fleeting moments of validation and a constant pressure to keep up with the latest trends. The distinction between user-generated content and corporate, driven trends blurs. We become unwitting participants in a vast marketing machine, chasing likes and shares instead of fostering genuine connections. We curate our online personas, meticulously crafting a highlight reel that portrays a life of perfection, even if it's far from reality. Information overload is another culprit, bombardment with a constant stream of news, updates, opinions, and perfectly curated content leaves us feeling overwhelmed and disoriented. Meaningful engagement gets sacrificed at the altar of superficial attention spans. We flit from one post to another, never truly absorbing information or engaging in deep reflection. The erosion of meaning is a slow, insidious process. Our capacity for deep reflection and critical thinking diminishes as we become accustomed to the constant dopamine rush of likes and notifications. We chase fleeting moments of validation instead of pursuing experiences that leave a lasting impact. We risk losing sight of our own values and aspirations, becoming mere cogs in the machine of social comparison. Loss of purpose. Meaning is the compass that guides us through life. It fuels our passions, shapes our goals, and motivates us to strive for something greater. But what happens when the constant scroll of social media disrupts our internal compass, leaving us feeling lost and purposeless? The endless comparison game on social media fosters a sense of inadequacy we see others achieving their dreams, traveling the world, or building successful careers, and it can chip away at our own sense of purpose. Real people, just like you and me, are struggling with this. Take Sarah, for example. Inspired by travel bloggers on Instagram, she quit her job to pursue a life of globetrotting. But after months of picture, perfect moments for the feed, she felt isolated and disconnected from her true passion. Or David, who constantly compared his artistic journey to the seemingly overnight success stories of online influencers. He lost sight of the joy of creation itself, succumbing to the pressure of online validation. The erosion of meaning on social media doesn't just affect ourself. Esteem, it can stifle our personal ambitions and dreams. We get caught up in chasing external validation neglecting the goals that truly resonate with us. Our passions become secondary to the curated online persona. The question we must ask ourselves is, are we living our lives or are we living for the likes? It's time to reclaim our purpose, to rediscover the passions that ignite our souls and to pursue a life that is meaningful and fulfilling, both online and off. The tyranny of comparison. We've talked about the erosion of meaning and the loss of purpose, but let's delve deeper into the root. Cause, the relentless comparison culture cultivated by social media. Social media thrives on the highlight reel. 
we're bombarded with carefully curated images of other people's seemingly perfect lives, leading us to believe that everyone else has it all figured out, except us. The constant barrage of unrealistic portrayals creates a distorted perception of reality. We start to compare our messy realities to their meticulously crafted online personas, leading to a devastating blow to our self-esteem. Studies have shown a clear link between social media comparison and increased anxiety, depression, and body image issues. Take Emily, for instance. A talented artist in her own right, Emily constantly compared her work to the viral pieces she saw online. The pressure to achieve similar levels of recognition paralyzed her creativity, leading to crippling self-doubt. David, the aspiring writer we mentioned earlier, fell victim to comparison as well. He became obsessed with the online success of other authors, neglecting his own writing style and voice in a desperate attempt to mimic their perceived formula. The comparison trap is a vicious cycle. The more we compare, the worse we feel about ourselves, leading us to spend even more time on social media, seeking validation, further perpetuating the cycle. The dopamine deluge. Let's delve into the science behind why social media can feel so addictive. It all boils down to a powerful neurotransmitter called dopamine, a chemical messenger in our brains. Dopamine plays a crucial role in our brain's reward system. It's released when we experience something pleasurable, motivating us to seek out those experiences again. Think of it as a biological high five that reinforces desired behaviors. It nudges us towards activities that promote survival and well-being, like eating delicious food, spending time with loved ones, or achieving a challenging goal Social media platforms are masters at manipulating this dopamine loop. Every like, comment, or share triggers a dopamine release, giving us a small but immediate hit of pleasure. This, in turn, makes us crave more and keeps us glued to our screens. Unlike the natural rewards we evolved for, these social media hits are unpredictable. We never quite know how many likes a post will get, or if it will go viral at all. This very uncertainty fuels the addictive cycle. The cycle becomes relentless. We post something, hoping for validation, and with every like or comment, a dopamine reward reinforces the behavior. We become hooked on the chase for online approval, even if it's fleeting and superficial. The constant barrage of dopamine hits can have a significant impact on our brains. Over time, it can desensitize us to natural rewards like meaningful connections or personal accomplishments. We start to crave the instant gratification of social media, validation, neglecting the things that bring true happiness and fulfillment. This is the crux of the problem. Social media hacks our reward system, turning a biological mechanism meant for survival and growth into a tool for keeping us endlessly engaged. The dopamine rush we get from a like palace in comparison to the deep satisfaction that comes from genuine connection, personal growth, or creative pursuits, the mental health minefield, the consequences of social media's grip extend far beyond feelings of inadequacy. Research has established a clear link between excessive social media use and a multitude of mental health challenges. Studies have shown a rise in anxiety, depression, and feelings of loneliness among frequent social media users. The constant comparison culture, the fear of missing out, and the pressure to maintain a perfect online persona can take a significant toll on our mental well-being. Let's hear from real people grappling with these issues. Sarah, a bright young student, confided in us about the crippling anxiety she developed after constantly comparing herself to her seemingly perfect classmates on social media. 
She'd see everyone posting pictures of their achievements, their perfect study groups, and their happy social lives. And there she was, struggling to keep up. It made her feel like she was failing at everything. David, the aspiring writer we mentioned earlier, also opened up about his battle with depression. The relentless pursuit of online validation stifled his creativity and left him feeling isolated and lost. Social media made him feel like his writing wasn't good enough. He kept comparing himself to other authors and getting discouraged. It took a toll on his mental health, and for a while, he even stopped writing altogether. These are just two examples of the countless individuals struggling with the mental health repercussions of social media. It's time to acknowledge the impact these platforms can have and take steps to protect ourselves. The filtered facade, we've seen how social media fosters comparison, but let's delve deeper. Have you ever scrolled through your feed and felt a pang of inadequacy? Everyone seems to have flawless skin, perfectly sculpted features, and dream like vacations, a world curated to perfection. The culprit, social media filters. These digital tools promise to enhance our appearance, but in reality, they distort reality and create a world of unattainable beauty standards. We become accustomed to seeing these airbrushed versions of ourselves and others, leading to a warped perception of beauty. The line between reality and fantasy blurs. The pressure to live up to this filtered facade can take a significant psychological toll. We start to believe that our natural selves aren't good enough, chasing a version of beauty that doesn't even exist Studies have shown that excessive exposure to filtered images can lead to body image issues, low self-esteem, and even depression. But there's another cost to this constant filtering. It cheapens genuine moments. Laughter lines, a sprinkle of freckles, or a slightly crooked smile. These are the very things that make us unique and tell the stories of our lives. Social media Filters erase these imperfections, leaving a sterile, emotionless image in their wake. It's time to break free from the filtered illusion. Real beauty lies in our imperfections. The laugh lines that map our journeys, the birthmarks that mark our individuality, and the stories etched on our faces. Social media filters may promise a quick fix, but true, Beauty comes from embracing who we truly are. Let's celebrate our unique features and the stories they tell. The world needs more authenticity, not more filters. The FOMO frenzy. We've talked about the erosion of meaning, the pressure to curate a perfect online persona, and the distortion of reality through filters. But there's another insidious consequence of social media, the fear of missing out or FOMO. FOMO is the feeling that everyone else is having more fun, living more exciting lives, and experiencing things we're not. Social media, with its constant stream of perfectly curated vacations, extravagant parties, and seemingly effortless achievements, fuels this fear like never before. We see snippets of other people's lives, carefully edited highlight reels that paint a rosy picture the constant barrage of perfect moments can make our own lives feel ordinary and dull in comparison. This fear of missing out can lead to feelings of inadequacy, social anxiety, and even depression. We start to believe that our lives are somehow lacking, that we're not doing enough, or that we're missing out on all the fun. The truth, of course, is far more nuanced. Social media is just a snapshot, a carefully crafted presentation. But the fear of missing out can make us neglect the beauty and joy that exists in our own lives. The moments of connection, the quiet victories, and the simple pleasures that social media filters out. 
reclaiming meaning in the digital age. We've painted a picture of the challenges and pitfalls of the digital age. But is there hope? Can we find meaning and purpose amidst the constant notifications and the curated feeds? The existentialists, with their emphasis on individual responsibility, might offer some solace. In a world saturated with external validation, they remind us that true meaning comes from within. It arises from our choices, our actions, and the values we choose to live by. The digital world, for all its distractions, can also be a powerful tool for connection, learning, and self-discovery. The key lies in mindful engagement. We must be conscious of how we use social media and how it affects us. Is it enriching our lives or simply adding to the noise? Here are some steps we can take to reclaim meaning in the digital age. Practice mindfulness. Be present in the real world. Savor real life, interactions and experiences. Curate your feed. Follow accounts that inspire you, educate you, and uplift you. Disconnect to reconnect. Take breaks from social media to reconnect with yourself and the world around you. Pursue your passions. Engage in activities that bring you joy and a sense of fulfillment. Whether online or offline, embrace imperfection. Let go of the pressure to curate a perfect online persona. Celebrate your authenticity. Finding meaning in the digital age is an ongoing journey. There will be stumbles and setbacks, but by taking control of our online experience and reconnecting with what truly matters, we can navigate the digital world with purpose and emerge with a stronger sense of meaning and a richer, more fulfilling life unplugging to find your spark. In this exploration, we've delved into the complexities of social media and its impact on our sense of meaning. We've seen how the relentless pursuit of online validation erodes authenticity, fosters comparison, and fuels a constant sense of inadequacy. We've explored the science behind the dopamine, rush triggered by likes and shares, and how social media platforms exploit these mechanisms to keep us hooked. The consequences extend far beyond fleeting feelings of disappointment. Studies have linked excessive social media use to a rise in anxiety, depression, and even body image issues. But there is hope. We are not powerless against the tide of the digital world. By practicing mindfulness, curating our online experiences, and prioritizing real-life connections, we can reclaim meaning and purpose. Disconnect to reconnect. Embrace your imperfections. Pursue your passions. The digital age presents challenges, but it also offers opportunities. Let's harness the power of technology for good, fostering genuine connections and using it as a tool for learning and self-discovery. The key lies in striking a balance. Don't get lost in the noise. Reclaim your time, your attention, and your sense of self. The path to meaning lies not in the perfectly curated feed, but in the authentic connections, the personal growth, and the real-life experiences that social media can never replicate. Rethink, reconnect, recharge, the conversation doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Have you experienced the negative effects of social media in your own life? How do you navigate the digital world while staying true to yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a dialogue about reclaiming meaning in the digital age. And if you found this exploration valuable, subscribe for more deep dives into the modern existential dilemmas we all face. Together, we can navigate this complex world and find a path to a more meaningful and fulfilling life.